Anybody been horseback riding? Yeah, I'd never been before, but it's kind of cool. You know, they put you on this magnificent beast and they give you all sorts of helpful tips like, uh, hang on. <laughs> and we're riding along, we got to that part, I don't know if it's a gallop or a trot, but it's that part where you start to bounce up and down quite a bit. And I can see why the ladies enjoy it. <laughs> but for me, I just kind of felt like I was, um, crushing my boys. <laughs> You know, we got back and everyone else's legs were sore. My legs were fine. No one had told me to use my legs. Felt a little bit like I'd never be able to have children. But my legs were fine. When I was growing up, I had problems focusing. You know, I just, uh, just couldn't, couldn't concentrate. And they didn't give me drugs for that. Uh, what my parents did is they sent me away to a place with a bunch of other kids where we could learn to focus. It was called... Uh, concentration camp. <laughs> when I was about 14 years old, my dad caught me drinking. And I said, uh, Dad's first time. And he said, that's BS. No one ever gets caught the first time. So that day I robbed a bank. <laughs> I, uh, my family's a little different. I come from a long line of inventors. Inventors, I uh, go back, my great greats, about 20 greats, but my grandfather invented the excuse. And his great great grandson invented addiction. My uncle Herb invented the lazy Susan. My father invented the snooze button. My cousin discovered that urinating on an electric fence can kill you. <laughs> I wasn't very good at it. Uh, I reinvented the wheel. All right. <laughs>